Hopefully this kills it. I'm too far away. I if I am too far away. Right in my face. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I blew myself up. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I just magically went over the edge. I was just running. And I was like, I'm about to turn. I just saw the ladder and I said, oh, too late. Okay, I wasn't even trying that time. Oh shit, this thing's sensitive. It was definitely safer on the inside of the train. I'm just being clumsy now. Come on, come on. Jesus Christ. I need to stop slacking around because I'm feeling tired. Come on, come on, I got that. I got this ready. Except for that part I wasn't ready for. Come on. Ooh, that doesn't look safe. Be far enough? Nope. Oh. oh shit. Did I should kill him. Did not. Actually, I can hide forever. It's a game, after all. Hey, okay, we're over a bridge now. Ooh, that was dangerous. Yeah, it is taking a while, isn't it? Well, they're gonna be right behind me. Yeah, it's just a shooting gallery now. Is that everybody? I guess not. Come on, kill him already. And... That should be it. Let's roll. I was looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. <laughs> I shot his head off. Come on. Wasn't I just here earlier? We sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. Show yourself, coward! Oh, 
Oh man. I got shot somehow. Ah, oh, this again? Sure, why not? Too bad I can't take it with me, you know. I could just mow them down all day long. Just like this. Oh, I am kind of messing with you guys. No, oh, goddamn you, sir. Let's roll. I got the guts all right. But do you? All right, let's go. Come on. Okay, that was very interesting. All right. Okay, I think Jesse James left the train. Probably. It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest oh, of the Oh shit. Train. I could see Jesse waiting for me. Fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Ah, we both died either way. <laughs> but this time it's like more steadier. Come on. Come on. Aim a little higher. There we go. Come on, get the 91. And got him. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first I need to whip my whistle. Oh boy, I can't believe we're not even done yet. I guess the website I looked up the hours lied to me. Apparently it's longer than five hours. Oh well, I saw having fun with it, except for those showdowns. They're really unforgiving, as the title will say. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch Jim. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. Perfect place to hide out from the authorities. Hmm. Okay, that was very interesting. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Engines? Yeah, they, they could have been the Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Well, that is true. There were a lot of renegades. But man, they, they don't play around. 
Oh shit. Oh, we... I don't really have nothing to say right now other than just... I can't believe this game... Oh shit. It's right behind me. Look at that. Blind shot. Hey, how about another whiskey, Ben? Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Maybe the outcome will change if I'm telling the truth or not. Well, other than that, I think I already fucked it up either way. Now, where was I? Indians, right? I had more than my share of run-ins with the Red Man. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. I did. Ah, uh, of course I did. In fact, I could still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again and kill many more men. Well, I am killing a lot of people, though. Consumes everything you are. Basically, right here. And I'm completely missing. So, did you ever find who the man you are after? Let me ask you something, Ben. You ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Oh, dear. Oh, 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 Won't you spare me over to another year? What is this that I can't see? With ice cold hands taking hold of me. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. Won't you spare me over to another year? Well, I am death. None can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. Won't you spare me over to another Okay, I don't know why he was singing, but I guess he was feeling it. Why can I? Oh, come on. Someone would pray. Could you wait to call me another day? Oh, dear. Won't you spare me? So, are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son of a bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was gonna stop me. Nothing. Well, there, at least I found Frank. Isn't there one more guy? 